WXYZ is a rhombus. Why do I know about rhombuses, rhombi? All four sides are congruent. And I also know some other things. I know that the diagonals bisect each other, so this is congruent to this. Be careful that you don't mark this with one and mark that with one, because we don't know that they're equal. And that this is congruent to this. And I also know that the diagonals make a right angle. That's something that's good to know. You can put right angles all the way around. I'm not gonna put it on that one. I don't wanna cover up my V. All right, let's figure out some things. Let's see, they told us, what color shall we use? Purple, sounds good to me. If I can get this one to work. XY is 5A minus one. And WX is 4A plus seven. Okay, well, stop right there. You know enough to find stuff, regardless of what they ask. You know enough to find things. So I know that this side is equal to this side because that's one of the properties of a rhombus. So 5a minus 1 equals 4a plus 7. And we're going to subtract 4a, subtract 4a, add 1, add 1, cancel, 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 cancel. a equals 8. Good to know. <clears throat> Good to know. Excuse me. Not hard for me to say there. ZW. I don't know anything about ZW. Yeah, you do. You know it's the same as this and this and this for what that matters. So ZW is that or that. It doesn't matter which one you use. Pick one. It doesn't matter. They're the same. It's the same thing as XY, which is the same thing as WX. I'm writing way too much, but it's the same as all the other ones. And we're just going to call it this one. Call it this one. I don't care. I'll stick with that one. Five. A minus one, but A is eight. So that's gonna give me 40 minus one, so 39. All right, good to know. Now let's switch colors again. Red okay with you? Of course. X, Y, Z, angle, 82 degrees. X, Y, Z, this entire angle all the way up in here is 82 degrees. Well, that's great, but here's what else I know, and you know it too. This angle is congruent to this angle in a rhombus. And because a rhombus has opposite angles that are congruent, this is also equal to this. And I also know that these two angles, the big angles and these opposite, whoop, I bumped it there, there we go. I know that this big angle is congruent to that big angle. And because this one's congruent to that one, congruent to that one, then that is congruent to that, okay? Because we bisected those angles with the diagonals. So a lot of stuff we know, and switching colors one more time. 82 degrees is up here. Well, I'm going to cut 82 in half, so that makes this 41, which makes this 41, which makes this 41, which makes this 41, and the picture's getting a little cluttered. And before I even answer what they've asked me, I'm gonna just jump in with some other things that are fairly obvious. There's a right angle going on, right triangle going on. I'm looking at this guy right here. The V and the X and the Y and the 41 and the 90, and we're gonna do some stuff that can totally happen in your head. So I would say, oh, I don't know what this is. We'll call it X degrees. So X plus 90 plus 41 is equal to 180 because we're dealing with a 180, well, we're dealing with a triangle which has a sum of 180 degrees on the interior and that's gonna give me 49. So this angle right here is 49, let's put it. 49, 49, 49, 49. Now let's answer some questions. Y, V, X. Y, V, X, 90. X, W, Z. X, W, Z is 41 and 41. It must be 82 also. Because if this is 82, this is 82. Y, X, W. Y, X, W. Well, 49 and 49, 98. Y, X, V, Y, X, V, 49.